There's nothing like a handmade toy to keep the kids entertained. And this one's amazing. It's a balance board and maze all in one. It'll really test the kids because they have to do two things at once, like jumping on a trampoline and trying to hit this ball with the bat. <laughs> That's never going to work. To get this balance board underway, it all starts with this 30 mil thick piece of plywood. For the size, I'm making it 600 long because that's your average shoulder width and you want your legs to be under your shoulders to have maximum balance and 450 wide. The first thing I need to do is find the centre of the board. Now I've got my centre lines marked, I'm going to use this square and clamp it to my mark. Now that's in place, I've just got this off cut where I've put two nails in and they're the centre points of my 600 and my 450. I'll use them with the nails just poking out to rest against the square. Starting in the corner here and then with my pencil keeping it at the end I'm going to trace it around making sure that those nails stay hard against the square the whole time and when I get to the centre point I will then flip the square over, repeat that process four times and at the end I'll have the shape of an oval. I hope that made sense. <laughs> it's an empty space that stands beside me now Am I looking for someone that I just can't find all I do is think about you now Girl, it's lonely without you Cause I travel tonight It's been too long to live this way That's the oval marked up and it's looking fantastic. To cut it out, I'm just going to be using a jigsaw. Till I pay Now that's cut, I'm just going to use a sander to clean up the edges. It's the best looking egg I've ever seen. <laughs> For the maze, I've just made up this jig. I've marked out the centre line and I've got equally spaced holes. Those holes will line up with the centre of my board. I'll then mount my router with the bit lining up with my centre mark and then I can trace that around. I'll move to the next hole, repeat the process and that will give me equally spaced circles for my mate. Even though it's only around 5mm deep, it's a good idea to go around at least twice, so adjust the depth down as you go. Now the maze is complete, I'm just giving it a quick sand and then I'm ready for some paint. And to finish off the paint job, I'm just going over the whole lot with a clear polyurethane and that will seal the rebate and around the edges and also just a bit extra protection for that grey colour. And how good does that look? The only problem is it's not much of a balance board when it sits flat. So to turn it into a balance board, I've just cut these two discs. They're different thicknesses. That way, if you're a beginner, you can start on the thin one. And when you get a bit more experience, you can move to the thicker one. And to attach them, I'm just using some screws.
Oh, and how good is this? Now, all that's left for me to do is to find some marbles and a couple of kids to give it a go. Well, maybe I should try it first. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> the amazing balance board, twice the fun. Yes! <laughs> 